Back in 2017, Ford announced once again that they would be building a production supercar, expanding the lineage of the GT40 of the 1960s and the GT of the mid-2000s. Like the GT40 of the 1960s, this was to be a homologation special of a dedicated race car from Ford's factory racing program that would compete in endurance street racing, but brought forward into the modern era. Out of this came a carbon fiber monocoque supercar, the likes of which Ford had never built. It was released somewhat controversially with a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6, yet this engine pushed the GT to first, third, and fourth place class finishes and the 24 hours of Le Mans in 2016, exactly 50 years after the original GT40s beat Ferrari at Le Mans. Today we are photographing this incredible 2019 Ford GT in Avalanche Grey for an auction listing and we got the chance to spend the day with it, seeing what living with this unique supercar is really like up close. And what do we have waiting for us here but a Ford GT and we are going to be photographing this for an auction but oh my goodness just look at that. So we've got the Ford GT next to the C7 Corvette. A lot of people complained about the GT saying, oh, why didn't they put a V8 into it? It's got a twin turbo V6. It's still like 600 horsepower in it. Corvette has the V8, but in all honesty, I would rather have the GT. It's such a crazy, crazy car in person. Alright, so we're about to fire this up and go for a quick little ride in the GT. Let's see how it goes. Doors go up and it is a squeeze getting in here. Yeah, so not a ton of room in here. You're pretty much shoulder to shoulder with whoever you're with. Ooh, that 12 mile an hour shift to second gear. Real performance car, huh? Trying to find a good spot to photograph this thing. Yeah, not too much for creature comforts in this thing, but it is a very cool car. And to get out, you got a little button right here. You push that, push with your elbow, and there you go. And now you get the fun of trying to uh, struggle getting out of this thing. But there you go. All right, so it's looking like we finally have the GT into position for some photos. So we're gonna go through it, get all the details we possibly can because this is going to hopefully go to a very happy new owner that's going to enjoy it as much as we are today. This is honestly such an awesome spot to photograph a car like this. You've got great symmetry and a clean background with all the garage bay doors and that gray just works perfectly in these shadows. Now the Ford GT here has a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that makes 647 horsepower. And we've already heard with that acropovic exhaust, it sounds plenty loud. And just look at how crazy this thing is up close. And this arctic gray white over the orange accented interior just looks perfect. And with plenty of dry carbon, oh, this spec is amazing. And it, you can tell it is definitely a driver because the filter picks up plenty of road trips along the way. And even when your car is in the right position, maybe you gotta get a little bit higher to get the perfect shot. All right, so you might be asking, all right, this is a race car built for the road. I'm about 60 or so. How hard could it possibly be to get inside of the Ford GT? Well, let me show you. Because all you have to do is give up all of your dignity or any sense of looking good to actually get in this thing at a proper angle. And once you finally squeeze your way inside, you look at least a little cool. And then from in there, you've got the great view of this amazing steering wheel. Such a cool car from the inside. And what do you have right here? That is how you start up the car. Let's go for it. Kill it for now because you just got to take some photos, but still such an awesome car, even though it's a little bit difficult to get into. But once you're inside, it feels so cool. This is amazing. But here's the even more embarrassing part is when you try to get out of it. Oh boy. You just hope that no one's looking at you when you're doing that. But hopefully they're not looking at you. They're just looking at how beautiful this car is. 
Hey, yeah, you uh, you might need this. <laughs> Who knew you needed a key to start a car? All right, get out of here. All right, and just like that, the Ford GT is put away and she is back on the trickle charger. Look at just how small this compartment is. You really can't fit too much in there, but you do get a better view of the engine like this. And so this was an absolutely incredible car. I know I say absolutely all the time, but it really does mean it in this situation. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.